All right, before we go further to the next reaction, we have to talk about the oxidation state of an atom in a molecule, in a, uh, in a covalent molecule. So it is not like an oxidation number in, uh, in an ionic compound where um, metal and non-metal actually have a charge, positive charge, negative charge. This guy don't really have that charge, but uh, they have an oxidation state, which we have, we're going to talk about it, okay? And um, so the oxi oxidation state is, uh, is a number that we assign to keep tracking on the electrons right, for each atom in the molecule. And here's, here's how we do it. Um, we're going to calculate the oxidation state of carbon and hydrogen. Oh, we just, we can, you can call it oxidation number. It, it is, people understand. Uh, we will compare the electronegativity of the atoms in this molecule, so carbon and hydrogen, basically. And we know that the uh, EN of carbon is higher than the hydrogen. So we're going to treat this carbon as if it beat hydrogen for the electron. So gain, uh, gains four electrons from hydrogen, uh, hydrogen atoms, so one each. So this carbon is going to gain four, right? And so it's going to, and uh, hydrogen, each hydrogen is going to lose one electron. So we say this carbon is plus uh, negative four, so gains four, and each hydrogen lose one electron, so become positive one. That's the uh, uh, meaning of it, all right? All right, let's try with this with me, okay? Do, do by yourself, and uh, let's guess first, and then check with me. So this carbon bond to hydro uh, three hydrogen and one oxygen, right? So hydrogen, for the hydrogen, carbon gains electron for sure, but for oxygen, we know that oxygen is more electronegative than carbon, so carbon will lose one, because of that oxygen, but gains three from the all uh, the three hydrogens, right? So carbon's gonna be so plus one minus three, just minus two. Uh, on the other hand, the oxygen who bonds to carbon and hydrogen, so oxygen beat both of them, so gains two, one electron from carbon, another electron from hydrogen. All right, so let's get negative two there, and up. Oh, yep, that's it. All right, one more. So. Um, all right, this one we're gonna do with just the carbon in the middle. So this carbon bonded to uh, to oxygen, but the one is double bond to oxygen. In this case, we're gonna treat double bond as a two separate uh, separate single bond. Basically, this carbon bond to three oxygen total, right, and one hydrogen. And we know that oxygen uh, oxygen gonna beat carbon, so steal electron from carbon. So carbon gonna lose three because of the the uh, uh, three bond to the uh, to the oxygen and gains one from the hydrogen. That's mean this carbon is gonna have oxidation state of plus two, just plus two. All right, one more time. So what we got, so this carbon, uh, we're gonna treat treat this carbon as if it's bonded to four oxygen, right? So four oxygen. That means carbon is gonna lose four electrons. So become plus four. That's how we do it. Just keep things simple here, okay? All right. Now, the oxidation reaction and reduction reaction. All right, so the oxidation reaction is a process that increases the oxidation number. So if you go from left to right, let's say if you do a reaction. Uh, from methane, you add one oxygen on it, you can add two oxygen, you can add, uh, cut four oxygen, right? Uh, and the oxidation number increase, in, is increasing, that's the oxidation process or oxidation reaction. And if you start with, let's say, carbon dioxide, and somehow you uh, you make you do reaction on it, and you go to methane, the oxidation number is decreases, plus four to minus four, so plus to minus this decrease, and um, that's we call we call that reaction a reduction reaction. Okay, so basically, uh, the oxidative uh, oxidation number is a process where you add oxygen or remove hydrogen, basically. Right. So, for example, one oxygen, carbon positive one, so lose one electron. If there are two oxygen, carbon lose two, so plus two. So add oxygen, that's an oxidation number, so oxidation number increases, I mean oxidation reaction. Uh, you can remove hydrogen, have the same effect on uh, the oxidation state of the carbon. Well, one hydrogen minus one, remove that hydrogen, so carbon doesn't have anyone to give an electron with, so carbon just goes zero. So uh, lower oxidation number, so that's a reduction reaction, okay? So oxidation reaction, you're gonna see either add oxygen or remove hydrogen. Uh, for the reduction process or reduction reaction, it just go the other way, the other way around. So remove oxygen or adding hydrogen to bond, okay? All right, all right, we're going to guess if one of these processes go reduction, oxidation, or neither. Start with the oxidation number of carbon right here. Now just look at the carbon. So this carbon bonded to two carbon, to, to another carbon. So that's the same electronegativity. So no one lose, no one gain. So just this carbon here. And this carbon also bond to a double bond to oxygen. 
we can treat this carbon as if it bonded to two oxygen. So this guy loses two electrons to the oxygen. So plus two. All right, so carbon on the right side, uh, bond to two carbons. So no one lose, no one gain, zero still. Um, bond to one oxygen. So lose one with plus one. But this carbon also bond to a hydrogen, right? There's a hydrogen right here. So that's minus one. So gains electron from a, hy uh, a hydrogen. Lose electron to oxygen. Uh, gains one electron from hydrogen. This guy is zero. Plus two go down to zero. This is a reduction reaction. Okay. All right, next one. <clears throat> Let's see what's going on. Um, all right, if you could guess first, so before you calculate the oxidation state, so a double bond here to oxygen, so two bond, two bonds to oxygen, to one bond to oxygen. Remove oxygen. This is reduction reaction. But if you don't, uh, not familiar with that yet, don't worry about it. Let's calculate the oxidation state. Uh, carbon here, uh, bonded to carbon, not, nothing different. Bonded to two oxygen, so plus two. Now, carbon here, bond to three carbons, right? Three other carbons, so nothing happened. But bond, one bond to oxygen, plus one, lose one electron, so plus one. Uh, decrease oxidation number, also reduction. Next one, all right, let's we're gonna do this carbon, carbon right here, just this carbon, okay? Um, this carbon bonded to three more carbons, one, two, and three. Three carbon, but one hydrogen. So gains electron from a hydrogen, so minus one. On the right side, bonded to two carbon, and got two hydrogen on here. So gains two electrons from the hydrogen, minus two. Minus one to minus two, decrease in the oxidation number, also a reduction reaction. Yep, that's how we do it. Okay, let's, all right, uh, let's go to the next reaction.